Hey there, my name is Danielle Crowley and I'm a middle school special education teacher. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between using and integrating technology and my journey to integrate technology with my special education students. So you would think that after a year or more of remote learning that all teachers would be uh, proficient with technology at this point, using them in their classrooms, our students know how to use these tools and resources and use them well. That is not always the case and it is actually difficult to get to the point um, where you are integrating this technology seamlessly and successfully. So if you're not aware, the difference between using and integrating technology does exist. So when you use technology, a lot of times it's teacher directed. The teacher is the one using the technology or it might be sporadic or an afterthought to use the technology in your classroom. Maybe it is after you finish a lesson or activity early and you just need a little bit something extra for the students to do. Because of this, there might be a lot more time spent learning how to use the technology than there actually is engaging with the resource. In addition to that, uh, the technology when you're using instead of integrating is used to deliver information instead of being integral to the learning process. So on the other hand, when you integrate technology, the students are the facilitators and they are using the technology. Because of that, the students are comfortable and confident using these resources. In addition, the technology is planned, purposeful, and is routinely part of activities. The technology supports the learning goals and aids in increased engagement for the students. Uh, the technology tools here are really a key part of building the knowledge rather than an afterthought. So when we were remote learning, I actually struggled to integrate technology in my virtual classroom with my special education student. So I'm realizing now that although I was nervous to frustrate my students or overwhelm them with all of these new tools, that my students may have actually been lacking engagement during this time. When we returned face to face in February, although we wished that everything would go back to normal, it obviously didn't. With new protocols in place, a lot of what we would typically do in the classroom, we just weren't able to do in this setting. Uh, with students in one seat, one room, in my case with one teacher all day, they really needed uh, some more ways to be engaged with the content. I started to realize that using just those handful of tools working either as a group or independently just wasn't going to work anymore. Especially with our special education students, we needed to rigorously work toward their IEP goals. So I think at this point is when I truly began to integrate technology just purely out of necessity. So I wanted to be able to mimic what I would typically do in the classroom uh, with these tech tools. I was able to make some switches uh, pretty easily with tools like the Google Suite of resources where students were able to collaborate with one another, working on a single document or project without needing to actually be next to one another. Google Slides and Jamboard were really, really great in my classroom for this purpose. Other tools like Flipgrid or Padlet were great when we wanted students to interact with one another without just raising their hand and answering a question or responding to a discussion board. This way students were able to express themselves while being able to interact with one another. Technology integration also allowed for easier accommodations and differentiation of resources for me as a special education teacher. So my students were able to use tools like Snap and Read, CoWriter, and Kami to accommodate their learning for whatever they needed. If they needed a passage read, if they needed support with writing or spelling, they were able to access those tools without direct teacher intervention, which increased their advocacy and was really able to support them in their learning. Also on Schoology, I was able to assign individual activities or assessments to students, which saved a ton of time when it came to progress monitoring. So students were able to work on their goals at the same time while, while I was able to support all students. 
So I know that I have truly integrated technology in my classroom since I'm planning to continue use these tools with my students even when the world goes back to normal because I truly think that these resources have increased engagement and success with the content for my students. So if you're interested in reading a little bit more about using versus integrating technology and some of the resources and tools that I use in my classroom, check those out below. And if you have any tips, tricks, or questions about integrating technology, go ahead and leave a comment. Thanks.